So apologies that my hair is fluffy. I did wash it this morning, um, but it's not dried yet. So we're just gonna have to put up with fluffy hair today. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy's Shrine. So if you're new here, then twice a week I do videos. So on Wednesdays is a haul and the last one I did was my Primark one. So if you've not seen that, then please go check that out. And on Saturdays, it's actually something from the Shrine. And as you can tell by the title, it's my Little Kingdom range. Now with the Little Kingdom ones, they do have a few different things. So I thought I'd show you what I've got. So I've got some nail varnishes, I've got a lip gloss, I've got some jewelry, and I've got some little figurines as well. And if you like this kind of videos, then please give me a big thumbs up. So I know you like this kind of videos. Um, I do two videos a week. Week. Like I said, it's one on Saturday, one on Wednesday, and I also do a vlog on Mondays as well. Please click the bell notifications, obviously, get notified when those ones go up. But yeah, so first ones I'm gonna start off with are the nail varnishes. Now, I did mention these um, in previous videos. The most recent one, I think, was on my eBay one, where I actually got the little figurines, and the figurines were almost dupes for these kind of characters. So, for example, we've got Merida there, and then the eBay one I've got actually has Merida in the same post, just minus the nail varnish. So these are some of the nail varnishes that you can get. You can actually get seven in total, so seven different characters that you can get. If you know me, I like my packaging. None of these I've taken out of their packaging. I absolutely love the way they look and obviously the fact you got all the nail varnishes and that with them as well. Now all the Little Kingdom stuff they are they do come from different places so for example um, I've actually got some of mine from supermarkets before like Asda which Target and Walmart are your version of Asda. Um, you can get these on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. Um, the last place I used to get them from was Toys R Us so obviously I can't get them there anymore in the UK but they're not that difficult to get hold of and like I said there are so many different ones so I will try and link them down below for you if I can. But I just think these ones are really cute just on the base that obviously you just got the little figurine and then the bottom bit like it says nail varnish is actually their dress. Now another one that's very very similar is actually this one here but this is a lip gloss so it's the same principle where the bottom bit instead of being a nail varnish is actually a lip gloss but it's still got the character on the top and then you get three lip glosses in there as well. So yet again you can actually get all the characters in this so it does show on the back you've got Cinderella, you've got Ariel, you've got Rapunzel, you've got Jasmine, you've got Snow White, you've got Merida, you've got Aurora and you've got Belle. Like I said very similar to these ones like I said I got in my eBay haul um, a few weeks ago. So the characters on the top are the princesses and then down the bottom, like I said, it's either a nail varnish or a lip gloss to represent their dress. Um, if I remember rightly, these things only cost around about, say, £5. They weren't too expensive. I wouldn't say any more than £7, but like I said, if you get online, you've got to take into consideration P&P, depends on location, that kind of thing. But like I said, we'll try and find them down below for you. Now, the other ones that, so these ones are jewellery ones, but it actually says in the bottom, jewellery collection, Sleeping Beauty. And I'm like, none of these have Sleeping Beauty on them. <laughs> so I was like, why do they say Sleeping Beauty on them? So I don't know if ever that was just the range that they had, because none of the other ones say anything else other than Little Kingdom. So I'm not 100% sure why it says Sleeping Beauty on there. So yeah, so I've got a Rapunzel one, I've got an Ariel one, and I've got a Jasmine one. So all of these are very similar on the basis that you get like a piece of jewelry, but then you get a little figurine as well. So for example, the Ariel one, you get a little figurine of Ariel, and then so you've got Sebastian and you've got Flounder and then you've got the Jasmine one we've got a little Jasmine there with Raja and you've got Abu so it's either a ring or earrings and then I've just got the Rapunzel one here where you've got Pascal and Maximus these ones yet again run about £5 not too expensive I think these are quite cute just on the basis that you can actually use them so like they're the actual jewellery so they're actually earrings and rings that kind of thing so you can actually take them with you so with the other ones you are a little bit limited because obviously they are nail varnishes and lip glosses but I suppose you could also use them as figurines. It's just the fact with these ones, you do have a few other characters to play with. So if you just got the one, at least you've got a few other ones that you can interact with. Whereas the nail varnish and lip gloss, you do have a buy a few of them to obviously, um, you know, for them to interact, that kind of thing. But yeah, again, not gonna take this out of the packaging. I think these are super cute. So the next ones, I've actually got a few of these. So I've actually got the um, Princess Little Kingdom range and I've actually got the Frozen Little Kingdom range. So I just show you the Princess one first, which I've got Belle and I've got Aurora. Now these ones, you can actually interact with them. So you can actually take things off and swap them around. 
So the fact that these actually got flowers of them, so you can obviously take them apart, put them on different characters, that kind of thing, so you can obviously change their outfits a little bit. Now I have said this in previous videos, that I do actually like it when you get a character that's got a slight, slight tweak or slight different design or slight different dress, that kind of thing. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more unique than rather than having everything in the shrine with the same outfit, I always like it when you've got characters that have got different outfits. And this is a bit more fun if you do have two or three different characters because then you can swap and change them, so it's quite fun. Uh, yet again, these ones, about five pounds, give or take. But like I said, these ones are the little princess range. But I do actually have some frozen ones as well. So these are little kingdom frozen range. So you just got Anna and you just got, oh, is Anna going <laughs> to Anna stay? Oh no, Anna's not going to stay up, so I'm just going to have to hold her. So you've got the Anna one and you've got the Elsa one as well. But like I said, these are the frozen ones. But they're the same principle. Well, obviously, you can take things off and then swap and change them. Now, I really think these are cute. I do like the fact they've actually changed them to be the frozen range compared to the other ones being the princess ones. Because obviously, yet again, the packaging is different. And these these ones aren't technically princesses. If you think obviously the traditional princesses, unfortunately these two are in their own category. So I kind of like it that they've got a different like packaging. And um, it does always show on the back of them as well what you're actually supposed to do. So it does actually show there that you're obviously supposed to like mix and match and obviously swap around uh, the different things that they've got. Like this one obviously has got like flowers and a little butterfly, that kind of thing. Um, the only thing is I'll be worried about losing them because the pieces are so tiny that I'll just be worried about obviously losing it. But I'm not sure obviously because it just says snap in. So I'm assuming that obviously click it in so it stays there. So it's not going to fall out like that easy, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm always a bit worried me personally, obviously because I've got big fingers. I'm not a child. <laughs> I've got adult hands. And because I've got long nails, I'm always worried about obviously playing with these, which I didn't say in my, um, which I mentioned in my Polly Pocket video that because my fingers are so big and my nails are so long playing with a little potty pocket I'm just like yeah this was definitely not designed for adults right so going on to the next one these ones I'm really excited to show you guys because there's two new ones so I'll show you the one that I've got which is the frozen one and then I'll show you my new ones in a moment so these ones are like I said little kingdoms this is the frozen one but these ones actually come with psychics obviously you've got Anna here with Sven and I just think these are super cute I just love how cute it's Sven looks obviously with the little carrot, but it is the same and the fact that it's got the snap-ins so is exactly the same as these ones where obviously you can interact by taking things out, putting things on, that kind of thing. And I just find that these are cute because they've got little figurines, so it's similar to these except you've got an extra character. Yet again, you can get them from the same place as I've mentioned before. These ones are slightly a little bit more expensive just on the basis that obviously you get a second character, so I would say these are more, say, seven to ten pounds, but I think it's kind of worth it just basically got two characters so you don't have to buy say two of these you can just get this one for more or less the same price or a little bit cheaper now the other two I'm really excited to show you guys because I've had these sat down here oh my god for probably about three maybe four weeks maybe a bit longer now I originally saw these um, on I think it was either Facebook or Instagram I saw someone else had them and I was like oh my god didn't know they existed and I just think they were super cute so I show them one by one so the first one is actually this one here, which you've got Jasmine with little Raja. And I just think little Raja is so cute. The same principle where it's obviously a snapping one, but you just got obviously a little Raja then. He's got a little pillow to sit on. I do really like Jasmine's outfit. Like I said, it's not her traditional outfit. It's more her purple outfit, which I think is quite cute as well. Uh, she's got like a little crown. Obviously, she's got little accessories as well. But I just thought Raja just looked really cute, and I was like, I have to get it just for Raja. Now, if I remember rightly, I actually got this in the entertainment toy shop, um, which I think at the time was only about five pounds because I think it was an offer. So it was kind of one of those lucky things. Well, I'd seen it online, just happened to be in the toy shop looking for something else, came across this, and I was like, yes, I want to buy this one. So as well as having that one, I also have this one. So this is Mulan and Mushu. And yet again, Mushu looks so cute. I'm just like, look at him. Like, when I saw that they had more, like, psychic ones, I was like, okay, I need to get the psychic ones, just because, especially with Mulan, there isn't a lot of stuff out there. Obviously, with the film coming out, hopefully there will be more merchandise, like they've done with Lion King, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin but at the moment there isn't a lot of Mulan and Mushu things out there though saying that my Mulan section is there and I'm like where is it gonna go like I'm gonna have to rejig it around because I even said that in my Lion King video a couple weeks ago 
that I've actually got some more Lion King stuff like this and I'm like where's it gonna go like I'm gonna have to rejig this whole thing just to kind of fit them in but yeah with these little kingdom ones um I have talked about these for the last year that I've obviously been doing my channel it is nice to finally sit down and obviously talk to you guys about them because I've got so much and the fact that I recently bought these ones I was like yes I need to do an update video because I keep talking about them individually so for example I've talked about the frozen ones and I think the Merida one and things like that I've talked about them individually while talking about the shrine but I've never actually done a little kingdom one with all of them especially because I've now updated it that's why I thought I'd do this video for you guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said please give me a big thumbs up so I know you do uh, please like subscribe click the bell notification all that jazz um, and I will see you guys next time later days I've had a fluff on my nose this whole entire time <laughs> I can feel it when I'm talking I'm like oh my god cat fluff